second split bandit here, baby. We're in the number two car. Uh, Austin Missler, armed for gaming, is out here in the number one car. We're the, the kings of second split today. What can we say? Top split's probably going to have a beautiful race. Probably extremely high strength of field. I couldn't even imagine, but it's going to be an awesome race today. Hopefully, I can qualify good. I don't really know. We got a good luck from James Hester. Send one right back at him. Good luck to you, James, as well. Hopefully, we can qualify all right. Didn't really practice. We got a good luck from Steve Hoffman as well. I already sent Steve a good luck, though, so don't need to respond to that one. So good luck to you, Steve. Thank you very much for the good luck back. But yeah, I did not qualify or did not practice very much. It's my understanding that the fast line is top one and two, bottom three and four. So for my first lap, what I'm going to elect to do is top, top, top one, two, top three, four, and then second time by top one, two, bottom three, four. As far as how good that's going to be, probably not very good at all. Probably not going to be able to qualify inside the top ten, being the number two car. I, I really, I really am not that good at asphalt. But here we go. I know you can freaking send it hard, but golly, I am not going to. I'm going to be holding it back a little bit. That felt pretty solid. Probably the most solid I have ever felt running the top. We're going to go top here, three and four. Probably too much lift. Probably way too much lift. Maybe I should dive down at least a little bit here. And set back up for the next lap. So what we can get going bottom three, four this time by. Getting back to full throttle as early as I could there. Now we're going to try low middle-ish, I hope. See if this is the way to do it here. Probably lifted too much. And we're going to spin out. Gosh dang it. Didn't execute that right at all. We're going to drop back a ton. We are going to drop back a ton. Not setting that right. Oh my god. That really sucks. Man, we are going to lose a lot off of that. Yikes. Let's take a look. See what dead last looks like here. Okay, it's not dead last, but it's dang near. That bites, man. Oh, I suck at qualifying, man. Oh, that bites. Oh, this is going to be a tough one. Oh, we're going to lose so much I rating. Oh, man. All right, let's go for it. All right, we're all gridded up here in the pit lane, all ready to roll on out. I can't even believe it. Qualified pretty deep outside the top 10 out here in the 13th position as the number two car. We can see Austin's car up there, the blue, dark blue car. Qualified up, up inside the top five, man. You freaking did a great job. We got Jeremy Fears and Nettie out there ahead as well in the uh, 10th spot, the number seven ride. I changed my steering ratio to 12 to 1. I hope that kind of helps a little bit. I didn't practice with 12 to 1 at all, so I don't know really how it feels. So, big old pat to myself on the back for getting my practice in this week. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, hopefully I can just do good. Hopefully we don't get caught up in a wreck or cause one, you know. And uh, it's all about just clocking in laps, baby. We've got 30 big ones to do here under uh, green flag condition, no cautions. And we got to shout out the sponsors, baby. Atlanta, our Auto Club, Speedway, and NASCAR. As we got just copy and pasted across the whole turns three and four here. <laughs> but anyway, third laps. Getting ready to come out of four. And we'll see if we can try to meet up with Austin at some point in this race. That would be amazing. Radio but he's probably right going to beat us for like the fourth week in a row. That man's been on fire with these ARCA races. And we're going to be off here any moment. Oh boy, I think they're going. Yep, there we go. I had an all right start with the cars behind me. And turn one's going to be interesting with 12 to 1. This is going to be my first experience with it. So, not sure what to expect, but here we go. Got one on the outside. We're getting ready to pass already. 
I'm just cool. That. Hold my own. Take it easy. Don't need any over rotation. Looks like everyone's pretty pretty good on tire saving right now. Just take it a nice and easy. We got Zanetti 20 in front of us on YouTube, as you guys can see. Look him up on YouTube. Zanetti is spelled just like how you see it in front of us here. Little sideways there. Because I'm just not very good. Thank God we didn't get any extra sideways and dump old Jeremy on my inside. This guy's too nice. This guy on my inside's an awesome guy. Hopefully we're not burning up our right front too much either. This early. Probably am. But I don't want to lose that front pack. Peace out, Zanetti. Thanks for treating me with respect, my man. We'll probably see him again soon. He's got that tire saving mode engaged. It almost looks like we got Finding Nemo up ahead, too. And that orange and white paint scheme up there. <laughs> this reminds me of Finding Nemo. I see we got Austin Missler up there, up ahead in the bottom lane. Might have to take note of that. He's kind of running the low line. And we got one going around. Thank God we went low there. Thank God. If we would have went high there, that would I would have been collected in that man. I can't even believe it. They just wrecked, and we dodged it. Heck yeah! Let's take it nice and simple. No, no, I didn't hit the brake. Sounds like they're at least having a civil conversation about what had occurred, so that's nice to see. Got the number 20 car in front of me, Michael Jones. Just like that Counting Crows song, Mr. Jones. Sha la 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 la. <laughs> Hand me that bottle, Mr. Jones. <laughs> that's a good song. There goes John Ross disconnecting. Probably wasting a lot of tire on entry. Feel like I'm being pretty aggressive on the throttle right now. Probably not good. Would be nice. I think I mentioned a couple episodes ago if you could see the telemetry above the guy's car. <laughs> like how maybe you could see like their name tag or whatever in other games. It could be like the the wall hacks of iRacing. Just see the guy's telemetry. I'm trying to just keep Jeremy behind us. Just playing it easy. Not driving too aggressive. We're kind of losing the front pack, though, since I'm focusing on them pretty hard. You might want to let them by. See, we got Christopher behind us, kind of catching up. But he's running the top. I feel like the top is just going to chew away your tires pretty quickly. and easy on the bottom. Oh, we're kind of catching back up to the front pack. Mr. Jones, we got Chris Loney behind us, kind of wanting to make a move, it looks like. Setting up for one. Maybe Jeremy will be able to block him for all of his attempts. Looks like Jeremy had to let him by. Old Chris, old Topher. Ripping up behind us. Still haven't even completed 10 laps yet. But I had consulted the man I purchased this t-shirt from. DJ EJ. Justin Yee. A.K.A. Arca God. Arca Goat. And uh, he informed me the bottom 
is the way around this place for the main event. So that's kind of what we're doing right now. Roll on the bottom, everyone else run on the top. I feel like they're probably gonna fall off shortly. Cause yeah, we're still real early in the race. It's crazy we're even top 10 still. Maybe this Chris guy's got the right idea though. I don't really know. That was too hard of an entry. That was not staying true to what the doctor told me. What the doctor prescribed. DJ EJ. Up to full throttle. Got another car coming up that's kind of running the outside line. Austin's all the way up there in like top five. Yeah, he's sitting in the fifth spot, so he's having a great solid run right now. Do not overshoot this corner this time. Just roll it easy on the throttle. Maybe we were turning left too much. Too much freaking elbow grease up on the right front. What's this guy going to do behind us? He knows I'm probably going to go low. Just take it nice and easy on the tires. I know Zanetti behind us, Jeremy, he's a uh, consult with the doctor as well. <laughs> so he's probably got the same kind of strat. scary but it's a-okay we're now the top 10 just be smooth at the wheel keep the tires pointed straight we got a Gavin out here Gavin Otarski is kind of catching up a little bit only three seconds back Potentially too much off the throttle time, too much time turning left. Hurting the tires, probably. Austin's still up there, man. Still clocking down nice lap times, not letting anybody by. He's running, he's having an awesome, solid run. That was not a very good three and four at all. Not a solid exit. No, almost no speed. That was very, very poor. Hopefully Jeremy stays behind us. It's crazy, there's like no one behind him to get for miles. Well, maybe that wasn't very tire savvy of me. I feel like I kind of pulled away from him by quite a large distance there. We're still not even halfway over in this race. This is wild. all the way up the track <sighs> like I've been a broken record man just keeping it easy on that right front Austin's made his way up to the fourth spot he's making passes up there too what the hell my god he's really got something figured out I wonder if he's using brake on entry kind of like how I just experimented with right there but yeah man Austin's starting to run real solid up there I wonder if those leaders are starting to fall off tire wise Maybe Austin's going to score the win here in second split. Don't spin out. <laughs> that would freaking suck. Take it super easy here. Probably not easy enough. Going a little too hard in the car still. That guy had to dive down. Maybe the car up ahead of him got the wall. I would imagine. Had to slow down. I 
I like that entry a lot. That one felt pretty solid. I like that three and four. We got a, who's this, Jacob Quill slowing down. Maybe got some wall action. He's going to be our first pass on the low line. It's starting to look like. What does this freaking bumper say? I racing your champion? Something I don't even know. I wonder if this guy's going to start riding low now or something. Racing your own club? I cannot read what this guy's bumper says. Oh! Something happened. RC, I thought you got by that, though. And we were able to pick off some positions there. Now we are definitely inside the top 10. We aren't just the top 10. We are inside the top 10. Austin's in first place. Turning left a little too much. Starting to feel the, uh, the right front go away, I feel like. But Austin is leading this thing, man. We're able to ride the bottom, though. Kind of catching back up to this pack here. Probably going to be able to pick these guys off as long as we can roll the bottom still. I feel like I'm starting to lose my right front, though. I feel like I've used it just a wee bit too much. And, of course, these guys are going to scoot down into my own lane. Slow me down a little bit. What's up, Jeremy? He's backing off. That was making me lose my breath a little bit. Aggression, these guys got right now. This is pretty crazy. Oh, I think Austin. No, he's in the lead. Yep. Hopefully, they don't wreck on my outside. We were looking really close right there. Able to pick one more guy off for now. Super smooth with the steering. Dude, I can't even believe it, man. Austin is in the lead by almost a second, man. He's going to get this W. He's got 10 laps to go here. It's all about that starting position. He had an absolutely excellent qualifying. Absolutely laid down a ripper. Try to get by this guy on the outside. Also keeping an eye on Jeremy. He's probably trying to peek up on my inside line. Take it real easy. Use some break. Here we are. Got him right there. He's got a little bit more of a run than me on corner exit. Still going to be there. Still going to have a better run than me on corner exit. We should be able to get him coming out of three, though, this time. For the top five.
There we go. Bring it all the way up to the wall. Now Jeremy's going to have to go side by side with him and try to get him. Austin's still in the lead by half a second now. If only we could have qualified better, probably could have been able to battle it out with Austin. We just don't have enough laps left to catch all the way back up to him. Would have been an awesome battle, though. Outside. Got one right on the outside. Should be able to get by him though. Working the outside. Back to full throttle. He's still on my outside. Not gonna be able to clear him though this time. Should be able to here in three and four. Definitely try to slow him down there. Coming out of two there. Slow down quite a bit. He might be able to get a crossover coming back on me. Looks like he will be able to. Which kind of sucks. He's going to have to go low now. I'm going to have the outside. He's flew into that corner. That's wild. And we're going to have a little bit of a lag spike there. And yeah, now we should be able to clear that guy no problem. He's not going to have any sort of run on us. He absolutely sent it into that corner, but he's the number 20 car. Not as much experience. We've worked our way into the top four, though. Come down to five laps to go this time. Let's see. Oh, radio kit good. We're going to be able to congratulate Austin when he wins, man. Five to go, Austin. <laughs> Hopefully he heard that. Hopefully he found that to be funny. <laughs> we got Jeremy behind us who's half a second back. Jeremy might actually be able to catch me and pass me, man. He's looking pretty dang solid. Coming up on, oh, uh, we're on five to go. We're coming up to four to go this time here. Yeah, Jeremy's getting a better exit than me out of corner. Exit there out of two. Caught up by a tenth. He's going to be able to pass me. You have to do it on the outside, though, as far as I'm concerned at this exact second. It's going to have to make it work on the outside line. He's definitely quicker than me, though. Probably able to save that right front more than me. I feel like I probably had a little bit more scary moments of me just being an idiot <laughs> and overdriving entry a little bit. Might be able to get by third, though. Which is going to be nuts if we can. But we're probably going to lose it to Jeremy. Jeremy lost a ton of time there going wide. I think he tried to go high and, you know, try to pass me on the outside line. I gave it a little bit extra goose throttle down low. There he is on my outside, old JF. Getting a decent exit. Still outside. 
No, Tide, why are you blocking me? Block him! He's trying to pass you! Come on, baby. Clear, clear, clear. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to get Jeremy. But Austin, man, he's going to get the W, right? He's in first still. Woo! Good race, guys. Woo! Great win, Austin, man. Good job, man. Hell yeah, good race, boys. Top five, probably, or fourth. That was awesome. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm out here to do. Yeah, we got the winner, man. Woo! Yeah, baby. Victory lay, baby. Drinks are on this guy, man. Drinks are on this guy. Woo! God damn it. Dump him! <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. That was an absolutely awesome race. Probably got the 4x though, but maybe maybe the race was ended at the end. Man, that gave me a 2x. But let's go ahead and take a look through uh, the wrecks at the end here and uh, see how uh, how it all was. See uh, who had what, if anything. We went from 13th to wherever the hell we finished, man. That was so awesome. That was absolutely an amazing race. Drink some freaking Dr. Pepper now, finally. The guy gets dumped. That happened right in front of us. We'll see us go low there. Fly right on by. That was like a, the longest arc race I feel like I've had in a while. And the most passes I've made, too, man. Running that bottom lane, Justin Yee, that's 100% the way to do it, baby. Arca Farmer. He's the Arca Jesus. Ooh, net code. The three ride. Here's the number ten car gets doored. Oh, and Mert moited. And he comes back down the track and collects more. <laughs> Absolutely astonishing. Number fourteen car. I remember we were racing with this guy at some point. He probably looks like he taps the wall by himself. Me and Austin, side by side, the one and two car. Give him an X though, I try to dump him right at the end. <laughs> oh, that was too awesome. Uh, yeah, so let's go, let's take a look at the, uh, the tires though. I wanna see that, see how we did. Did pretty good, 72, 92, whatever, 84. Not too shabby, but right on. Let's go take a look and see the results and see what we got out of this race. All 30 laps complete, man. It was a 2,483. The only thing I wish for is if I was for, uh, cool and could actually qualify. Could have actually raced with Austin for the win. It would have been awesome. I would have dumped him. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But maybe. I don't know. You don't know. But, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, who had fastest lap time? Looks like Chad Douglas will CD. Uh, so, yeah. Austin comes home with the win. I absolutely love to see it. T massive gain of I rating. Uh, he's up to 33, 3,333. So beautiful. Uh, Eric Ramsey, Jeremy Freer, Zanetti on YouTube. Uh, myself, baby, comes home in the top four spot. Gained 46 I rating. Was not expecting that today. Uh, it would be nice if from now on we can get into second split, Arca, because I can actually like race with these guys. But I'll probably be back in top split next week with this gain of I rating, potentially. Maybe we'll be the one car and second split i don't know but congratulations to you austin man absolutely awesome win and uh thanks for watching everybody and uh, have a good one